what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i know i was supposed to put this up yesterday but i didn't get a chance to actually react to haikyuu yesterday but i did get berserk the walking dead and full meta alchemist out yesterday so i'm doing this early 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 in the morning it's 8 a.m right now i'm recording this so you guys should have this by the end of the day no doubt about it but in any case we're gonna jump in to see what this is all about with this new guy showing up the actual setter for um what's the name what aoba i think it was aoba i wrote it down aoba hold on aoba i think it's aoba josai or something something of something of the sort because i've been trying to keep up with what's going on i got kageyama we got hidnata of course and of course my boy daichi the captain right so just right after kageyama said i don't think that's the real setter that's there this guy just walks in that those are just you know those are video cues in, in anything that you've watched i don't have to ask that this guy is the real deal okay this guy is the real deal so i want to see what he's what he's actually made of he looked like he's sauce popular with the girls so i'm ready to see how they're going to portray this character in the anime and also to see if karasuna is going to win this match or not as i said narrative wise it does not make sense if i'm writing this story there's no way i'm gonna let karasuna win this match why because it's a it's 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 a one-off you get what i'm saying it's a one-off it's basically an exhibition match it's a practice match right so if it gets intense you know what i'm saying they've already seen the quick attack by um kageyama and hinata they've already seen that so they've showed that off now how how will they stop it they probably can't but at the same time if they're going to introduce this guy as some sort of saucy dude that's going to come on the court right now like for me story-wise it wouldn't make sense for karasuna to win this match. i'm not saying that it can't be done if they win they win but if they win this, then later on, the narrative, if they lose to this school, because this is a top four school also, so you can, I, I, that's why that weighs a lot. That weighs in a lot, because if you let Karasuna win against a top four team right now, it kind of dumbed down the struggle that they're going to have to go through to rise among the best or rise to the best of the best because right now they're at the bottom the bottom of the barrel so if they beat this guy with this guy that they just showed up with the sauce you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying with the final set coming up too this guy's gonna come in i think he's he's probably gonna <laughs> he's gonna do some crazy stuff but let's see what it is so that's it for now and i'll see you guys for the review All right, so Haikyuu episode seven and eight is in the books. In the books, and I have to say, man, I'm loving this anime. I'm loving it very much. Um, I know I talked a lot during episode seven, but that's because we're learning a lot and also seeing a lot of things that, you know what I'm saying, um, that in a way I expect to see in anime, but at the same time it's very surprising to me because they're kind of putting an emphasis on those things that are not really done in real life volleyball which is you know what you're supposed to do when it comes on to a sports anime so i've ippo is the only sports anime i've ever watched before this right so when it comes out is it is it just ippo i think it's only ippo yeah so in ippo there's a lot of things that you know that is exaggerated but it's based on a lot of stuff that has been in real life. The Dempsey role. Um, you know what I'm saying? Of course, it's something that was named because of... Um, I think his name is Jack Dempsey, I think. Um, so, of course, it's not done like that in real life. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they exaggerate that, you know, and it just it, it looks so cool. So, I'm kind of expecting the same thing from this anime that they're going to kind of 
exaggerate a lot of the things about volleyball that is you know a lot of people think volleyball is boring to be honest you know what i'm saying it's a very fun sport it's not a fun sport to watch but it's a fun sport to play you get what i'm saying um it's a it's a very fun sport to play i don't watch volleyball i think it's very boring to watch it if you're not involved <laughs> you know what i'm saying like you feel like you feel like nothing is happening you know what i'm saying um I, I just don't like watching volleyball you know what i'm saying but this anime really is really bringing back some 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 memories for me because i used to play volleyball competitively so it's like you know to see them you know explaining the positions and stuff like that and i'm glad that we got to see who the libero is going to be this kid that gets you know what i'm saying because libero are basically they're in charge of defense so they're usually like directing the defense on the team a lot of times too um so it's like okay you know you have the upfront blockers they can tell you know sometimes they can guide the captain can do it too but also you have the upfront guidance of the libero if they're really like super good at how to set up the defense for receiving from whatever side that the ball is being served right because the, the ball can be served from both sides i don't know if they're going to talk about that in this anime it's not always like from the right side because you get what i'm saying it's not always from the right side depending on the, how the rotation is going depending on how the rotation is going it's not always served from the right side of whatever side you're on it's not always served from you know behind that first blocker there so it depends it depends it depends as i said is 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 certain things about volleyball that i'm going to remember um i don't know in you know volleyball is rules are not synonymous all over the world it's not as in it's not the same everywhere you get what i'm saying because some people play play the volleyball different than, than some places i don't know because and and sports is like this you know what i'm saying sports is usually like this and usually is like when you go to the olympics you'll you'll notice that a lot of the a lot of the rules are, are are very synonymous but at the same time you might you might be looking at it and like oh shit this oh oh we can't do this here uh okay <laughs> you know what i'm saying so a lot of a lot of times it's like that you know what i mean um you have different types of volleyball you guys should know this you know um you know you have the court volleyball you got the the beach volleyball which which is only played with two people which i think is i think beach volleyball is more entertaining to watch because it's only two people you get what i'm saying and um i think in beach i think in beach volleyball you can only do i think it's two touches per right if i'm not mistaken i think it's only two touch i think the most or maybe not or maybe it's still three touches i don't i don't, I don't remember i don't remember like it's been so long since i watched any beach i usually watch beach volleyball during the olympics so is that's the only time I, I i would watch beach volleyball is during the olympics you know what i'm saying so um but i like what they're doing with this this dude named asai and we have noya now noya is the um or noshinoya i think is his full name um so we have him as a liberal he says he's not coming back until asahi if asahi don't come back i'm not coming back because i'm guessing that asahi, asahi I, that name is gonna be hard for me to remember or say um i'm guessing that he is um noya's inspiration to play volleyball so it's like if he's not on the court it's like i feel like i'm cheating the game i feel like we can move I, I don't feel like i can move forward i you know he said it himself where he said he feel like he'll be moving forward without him and he does he doesn't want to do that he wants him to be on the court because if he's on the court and i feel like i feel whole you get what i'm saying and that kind of feeling is very is is very um relating to sports sports can be like that sports can be very depressing if your star player is not <laughs> is not there you get what i'm saying like you can look at it and say yo we can get through this we can pump yourself up to do it but it's very diminishing a lot of times when your star player gets 
injured or whatever the situation is um with them you know what i'm saying maybe they get traded to another team or whatever whatever the situation is i know for a fact that it's it's not very easy on the players regardless of what it is to not have that star player that usually gets you through those tough times somebody that you can look to the leader on the team you lose those aspects in 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 sports it can be really depressing for the rest of the team because you know as a player you also know your limits when you're playing sports you also know your limits and anybody's out you think you can achieve anything in sport yeah you can believe that but can you actually do it you get what i'm saying you 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 will see people do things that you can't do some people are going to be more talented at the sports than you are you just have to accept your limits and stay within your lane everybody has their role to play and you just got to play your role and see the thing is um just like how noya was trying to pump up hinata and let him know listen so what if you're a decoy it's needed ain't it it's a needed skill to be a decoy so you can't look down on it because it's not as cool as being an ace or a liberal you get what i'm saying so you can't look at it like that i think a liberal is way more important than an ace as i said before in my last reaction when i was talking and i was saying that any anybody in volleyball can spike if you can jump over the net and you can spike it's not so glorious in regular volleyball in real life volleyball it's not so glorious because most of the time you're getting blocked most of the time you're getting blocked most of the times you know you're getting one touches um so it's it's not so glorious in real life but i'm glad that they're trying to kind of exaggerate those you know of the ace and the, the liberal and you know the setter and stuff like that they're trying to make everything very wholesome and very like stuff that are not really paid attention to in volleyball they're just trying to make volleyball cool and i i like that i like that because volleyball is not exactly l looked upon as a very cool sport you get what i'm saying um as i said i don't like necessarily watching it um but i love playing it so um you know for the regular viewer who has never played volleyball or the kid is not in volleyball they're not going to turn on the tv and tv and be like oh let me watch some volleyball <laughs> you know what i mean like people are more into like stuff like you know basketball soccer cricket stuff like that because even though cricket is very slow people love watching cricket i loved watching cricket i don't watch it anymore because you can't really watch it um in you know in america because america don't really they're not into cricket like that so you don't really get um stations that do cricket like usually um when i was back home in jamaica we used to watch cricket all the time because we play cricket our you know we had a Car caribbean team the west indies team that plays internationally you know and they used to be one one of the best teams to ever one of the greatest um cricketers of all times is brian lara look him up that dude played for the west indies right um so some of the greatest cricketers of all times have come from the caribbean look it up if you know anything about cricket and you're watching this you know what i'm talking about you know when you're talking about courtney walsh um big time big time i could go back in the history you know what i'm saying of cricket to give you guys some names you guys know what it's all about you know what i'm saying i'm not saying that people you know that other countries don't have great don't have grades that are considered goats of cricket you know what i'm saying um i'm not saying that you know because you have the ricky pointings you know what i'm saying the 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 shanes the the um what's his name again i can't remember his name man the dude with the the ridiculous curve bowling that he used to do um oh man i can't remember his name right now but he played for england he played for england man yo that dude was a beast people was afraid when he came up to bowl he was afraid of that dude like literally shaking in their boots because you can't it's so hard to hit him it's so hard to hit um once he he, he bowls that ball he like it's so hard to hit that dude and I mean, you will find yourself cheering for this dude, even though he's playing against your team, because it's like, yo, when this dude comes up, he's like, he's like, he's bowling, um, 
he's he, he's bowling uh i don't even remember what they call it but like you you there's six balls in an over right so you come up as the bowler and you have six balls you use every time so every set you only get to to um to bowl six balls if you bowl a no ball you get an x you get to bowl an extra ball right but the other team gets a run they call it no ball um i don't want to explain to you guys what a no ball is <laughs> It's cricket okay look it up if you're interested in about the sport it's a very popular sport it's actually the second most popular sport in the world which I don't understand why Americans are not really into it I think um, but you know what I'm saying like it's the second most popular sport in the world um, under you know football or soccer if you want to call it that right so um, so yeah man I'm I'm loving this anime that's why I can go on and on about sports because I've played it. You know what I'm saying? I've, I've played this. I've played, you know, I talked about all the sports I played before, but um, I'm loving this. I'm loving what they're doing with the anime so far. And I know it's, I know it's going to get better. You guys are telling me, oh, oh you're going to love this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm already loving it. You know what I'm saying? Eight episodes in. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, make sure you leave a like on the video and also leave a comment in the comment section. And I will catch you guys later. Subscribe if you're new. Your boy Terabyte is out. Peace.